Hello everyone and welcome to Mathematics with Marlene. In today's video, we'll be looking at prime numbers. What prime numbers are, what composite numbers are, and also what type of number 1 is. And then lastly, we will find all the prime numbers between 1 and 100 in a quick and easy way. So let's start. What is a prime number? A prime number is a whole number with exactly two factors, one and itself. Let's look at this example. Let's look at two. What whole numbers can you multiply together to have two as an answer? So one times two will be two. There's nothing else you can multiply to also have an answer of two. So that is our only two factors. So two has two factors, one and itself two. So two is a prime number. Let's look at another example. Three, what whole numbers can we times together to get three as an answer? So one times three will have three as an answer, nothing else. So our two factors is one and three. So one and itself three. Now let's look at four. What whole numbers can we multiply together to have four as an answer? First, one times four will be equal to four, but also two times two will be equal to four. So four has more than two factors. It has one, four, and two as factors. So one, two, and itself, Four. So 4 doesn't have exactly two factors, so it is not a prime number. But then, what type of number is 4? Four? 4 is a composite number. Now what is a composite number? A composite number is a whole number with more than two factors. So it doesn't have exactly two, like a prime number, but it has more than two. Let's look at another example. What whole numbers can we times together to get six as an answer? One times six will give us six, but also two times three will be equal to six. So six has four factors. So one, two, three, and itself six. So 6 is also a composite number because it has more than two factors. But now there's another question. What about 1? What type of number is 1? Because a prime number has exactly two factors and a composite number has more than two factors. Let's see what whole numbers we can times together to get 1 as an answer. So first, 1 times 1 will give me 1, but there's nothing else. So 1 only has one factor, and that is 1. So because 1 only has one factor, it is neither a prime number nor a composite number. So now that we know what a prime number is, Let's find all the prime numbers between 1 and 100. So the first thing you do, is you're going to write all your numbers from 1 up until 100. And then there's five steps you're going to follow. The first step, you're going to cross out 1 because we already learned that it's not a prime number. And then we're going to highlight 2 and cross out all its multiples. Third, we're going to highlight 3 and cross out all 3's multiples. Next, we're going to highlight 5, cross out all 5's multiples. And then lastly, we're going to highlight 7 and then cross out all its multiples. So let's do this step by step. It's only 5 steps and if you do this, you'll have all the prime numbers from 1 up until 100. So what's the first thing we do again? We're going to cross out 1 because it's not a prime number. Next, we're going to highlight 2 and cross out all of its multiples. So 
So like we said, highlight two and then cross out all twos multiples. So four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, and you carry on until you've reached 100. Next, you're gonna highlight three and then cross out all three's multiples. So I highlight three and then I need to cross out the multiples. So six, but six is already crossed out because it's also a multiple of two. So then I move on to the next one. The next multiple is nine, so I cross it out. And then 12, but it's already crossed out because it's a multiple of two. So I carry on to the next multiple, 15. And then you continue until you've reached 99 is your last multiple of three. And now we move on to the next step. So next you highlight five and cross out all its multiples. So I highlight five and I cross out all the multiples. 10 is already crossed out. 15 is already crossed out. 20 is already crossed out. So the first one I'm gonna cross out now is 25. And then I continue and 95 is my last one. And then lastly, I highlight seven and cross out all its multiples. So I highlight seven and I cross out all the remaining multiples of seven, which is 49, 77 and 91. And those are my five steps. So everything that is highlighted and that's not crossed out, all those numbers are prime numbers. So there are 25 between one and a hundred, and here are all of them. So if you want to practice prime and composite numbers, and you also want to go and practice finding the prime numbers between one and a hundred, you can just check out in the description box below, you will find a link where you can go and download a worksheet with a memo. And if you haven't already, and this video helped you, remember to give it a thumbs up and also to subscribe to my channel. And then I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.